Hello YouTube. So I wanted to share an experience I recently had with my C6 Corvette. This is a 2005. It is a manual gearbox and it does have the column lock garbage going on with it. So when I first bought the car, it said service column lock. Um, when I test drove it and the dealer actually repaired it, but I realized that that would be an ongoing issue with the car. So I went ahead and had a uh, bypass module put in there, or I should say I put a bypass module in there. But lately, the last, well, first of all, I only drive the car usually once a week, once every two weeks. It doesn't get out of the garage much, unfortunately. But the issue I was having is every time I would go to start the car, I would push the start button, everything would click, everything would, all the gauges would flip over and everything, and it would act like it was going to start, and then it would not start. Uh, the battery's new. I even changed the bypass module again in order to try to alleviate that issue. No error messages on the DIC, so I thought it was detecting the fobs and everything correctly, but come to find out what it was is the battery in my key fob was going bad. And apparently this DIC does not say fob battery low or anything like that. It just won't start. So what was happening is I would push the start button, wouldn't start. I'd turn it off, turn it back on, wouldn't start, turn it off, turn it back on. And I would cycle through that, I would say probably at least 15 or 20 times, and then the thing would finally start. I was thinking maybe it was a relay or a loose connection somewhere or maybe the starter solenoid. But I was like, I read on the Corvette forum that somebody said, oh, change your fob battery even though the DIC didn't say no fobs detected. So I tried that last night and it worked perfectly as you will see right now. So here we go. I'm gonna hit the start button and I'll cycle it through a few times just so that you can see that it's fixed. So there we go, simple fix. All you had to do was change your fob battery. I'll probably make a video on how to do that as well. I'll put that down in the description, so if you wanna check that out. But yeah, before you go chasing electrical gremlins and all that crazy stuff, thinking your battery's going dead in your car, uh, your bypass module's messing stuff up, or your steering column lock, check the key fob battery first. I hope this helps you out. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit the like button as well if this helped you. Thank you very much, YouTube.